Developed, tested, and perfected by me, Kel Kellogg. Turbo Flashers. Turbocharge your trout trolling today by going over to Fish Hunt Shoot dot com and picking up a set of my turbo flashers you won't regret it they'll help you catch more and bigger fish they've done that for me and they'll do that for you hey guys cal kellogg here i'm always talking about smoking trout on the channel and i've had a bunch of requests from guys that want me to take them step by step through the process and that's what we're going to do right here um, i actually kicked things off yesterday i brought back three big beautiful lake davis trout like Davis rainbows. I filleted those fish and I chunked up the meat, beautiful pink meat, totally awesome. I put those chunks in a uh, aluminum, uh, basically one of those turkey baking pans and I covered them with Kevin Brock's brine, which is a, a fish smoking brine. Hey guys, Kel here. Um, I had some issues with my SD card when I was shooting the smoking video and uh, I, I lost some scenes. So I had a video of me filleting the fish. You've seen that before, cubing the fish up, removing the bones from the fish, stuff like that. Um, and also applying the brine. So here's the brine, I wanted to show it to you. This is Kevin Brock's fish smoking uh, brine, works great on trout, steelhead, uh, salmon, all that stuff. You know, for the amount of fillets you saw me work with, I used about half a bag, and it's, you hold it up there, it's granulated. It feels very similar to brown sugar, but there's other stuff in here. It's uh, Kevin's kind of his family secret. It works very, very well. Pretty foolproof stuff. Put the fillets in that, in that pan you see me use. Um, I, I used an aluminum pan in one of those turkey roasters because it's disposable. This stuff's sticky. Um, Initially, when you put it on, you cover the fillets with the with the granulated dry brine. But uh, you know, overnight, you'll see here in the video, it's going to turn to the consistency of Kool Aid, and it's very sticky. So anyway, that's what it looks like. Um, if you would like to try it, go on over to uh, fishkevinbrock.com. He has a store with all kinds of products. He has fish and tackle, this, that, and the other thing. He has this brine. And he has his beer batter mixture, which uh, they're both very, very good. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. And uh, I think I put it on a little heavy. I'd rather use too much than too little. But like I say, I used probably half that bag. And I think if I was doing a, a good sized river salmon, I'd probably use most of that bag. Because again, I'd rather have too much than too little. So anyway, back to the video. Just wanted to show you how this stuff looks in its natural habitat and tell you where to get it. Go over to... Um, fishkevinbrock.com check out his store and uh, grab some of this little chief smoker you are in business okay we'll get back to the action thanks guys um it's the it's a granulated consistency it's a consistency of brown sugar there's a lot of other ingredients in there i've used it in the past with very good results so i covered the chunked fish with that i popped it in the refrigerator at 37 degrees overnight um, I'm going to grab that pan of fish and show it to you. That granulated brine is going to have turned to liquid. Um, we're going to rinse the chunks of fish, dry them with a paper towel, and then take them upstairs, put them on the smoking racks, and get them in front of a fan until they, um, they get tacky. You want the, the fillets to be dry on the outside. You want them to feel tacky. Then you put them in the smoker, and we're going to smoke these fish with uh, applewood um, apple chips. And we're going to smoke them for four to five hours, depending on the consistency of the fish. So let's get started. I'm going to go grab that pan of fish. I'll be right back. Okay, here are the fillets. I'm going to kind of hold that up there. In fact, let me swivel the camera down, and uh, you can see what this looks like. Okay, there you go. As you can see, that brine, see that right there? That brine has turned to liquid. Um, the, the chunks of meat are, are coated with herbs and uh, spices. It smells great. So the next step in the process, let me swoop the camera back up here. 
The next step in the process is to rinse these fillets off, we'll rinse them off in the sink, and then we're gonna dry them with a paper towel. We want them as dry as possible before putting them on the smoking racks. And as I said, then we're gonna put them underneath a fan for a while until they're tacky on the outside. And that's the time to put the racks in the smoker and get started with the smoking process. So I'm off to the laundry sink in the garage. I'll get these rinsed. I'll put them in a different bowl and uh, you'll rejoin me upstairs in my kitchen where I've got the fan set up. I'll be right back. Okay, here I am. I'm up in the kitchen. The lighting's a little funky here, but uh, I think you can see me pretty good. Let's have a look at the fish and the setup here. I'll turn the camera around. Okay, so here's our here's our chunks of uh, rainbow trout. I wrenched the brine off of them in the garage and put them in this bowl. Um, got a big big roll of the cheapo paper towels here. I'm going to dry those off. Here's my basic setup. Here's our racks right here. I've got them laid out on foil, and uh, to prevent the the pieces of fish from sticking, I've just kind of dusted that with non-stick spray, and then. Right here, I've got a inexpensive box fan. So let me dry the fillets off, put them on the racks, and then we're going to kick that fan on until the fillets, until the chunks of fish feel tacky, which usually takes an hour, an hour and a half, depending on the humidity level and, and you know how much moisture is left on the surface of the fish. So let me get started drying these off. I'll get them on the racks, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've got all the fillets dried and I've got them on the racks. Um, before I show you that, and I got the fan going here. Before I show you that, I will say I'm smoking with a Little Chief smoker. There's no heat adjustments on it, nothing like that. It's a very simple smoker. And, uh, you know, I'm by no means an expert. I'm totally a, a hobbyist here. But uh, what I will say is there's a little strategy when I put the meat on the racks. I try to sort them by thickness because I want the thicker chunks of fish lower in the smoker where the temperature is higher and you know the thinner pieces up top. I ended up with about two and a half racks from those three trout. So let me pan on over and show you kind of what I got going on here. So there you can see the fan going. I guess it's on a medium setting and uh, what I've done here is I've, I've put a, actually one of my cell phone charger blocks underneath it there just to tilt it a little bit because I want the, I want the air you know directed down on, on the pieces of fish. You can see the fish there, just beautiful. These are my thinner pieces here. They'll be in the top of the smoker. These are my thickest pieces right here. They're gonna be in the bottom. And then these pieces here, they're pretty thick too, so they'll be on the shelf right above these, these thick pieces. Now, I don't know how long it's gonna take for these to get tacky, but you want them dry to the touch. Um, you don't want them wet at all. So probably an hour to an hour and a half under the fan I'll get the smoker set up outside I gotta pull an extension cord and make sure there's no dry leaves around it or anything like that let me flip the camera back here so anyway I'm gonna go get a, a safe area on my back um, walkway to set up the smoker and once those are, are tacky and ready to go I'll carry the racks downstairs I will slip them into the smoker plug it in it will start making smoke um, and I'll walk you through that process downstairs it's very simple it has an electric burner it has a little a little metal pan where you put the applewood chips or you know the chips of your choice I'll probably use two pans of chips on these fish I'll I'll use one pan full get a good smoke going then I'll let a little heat get to them I'll put another pan full in that should take us to about the four hour mark then I'll, I'll could just kind of check the, uh, the meat to see, you know, how it feels. And uh, once, it, once it feels done, it's done. Out come the racks, and uh, I'll have some top-notch smoked trout. Thanks to Kevin Brock's brine. I've played with my own brine. Um, you can mess it up. I've made a couple batches that were so salty I couldn't even eat them. So when I found out, you know, Kevin told me that he has his own brine, I started using that absolutely foolproof it's his family's recipe so easy peasy um, I would suggest you use that but uh, there's other brines available on the market or there's plenty of recipes for you to make your own brine but anyway the fan is going let me go grab the smoker get that set up and uh, when these are when these are ready to rock I'll be back here and uh, we'll get them smoking anyway thanks a lot guys I'll be back 
Hey guys, I'm scrambling here. I got a Zoom conference coming up here in a few minutes, but the fish is ready. Um, let me pan over to you and show you what it looks like. It's still under the fan. I'm going to run it downstairs and get it into the smoker. But I want to show you what you're looking for in terms of the texture and feel of the fish. So I'm going to swing the camera around here. So, as you can see here, th this uh, it has a nice shine to it and it's it's dry to the touch. It's, uh, it's actually beyond tacky. It, it just feels dry. That's what you're looking for. When it feels like that, you know it's time to put it on the smoker. The fish is now at, at room temperature, just a little bit below. And uh, I think, you know, about four hours in the smoker, we're going to have real good results here. It looks beautiful. It looks bright red. So let me run this downstairs and uh, I'll fire up the camera. I'll show you what the smoker looks like and just kind of the basic, super simple stuff, guys. I'll be right back with you. Okay, there's the smoker. Um, there's the front door. I'm going to lift that in place. Got a yellow jacket here harassing everything. But down there you see the wood chips. There's an electric uh, element down there that's going to heat up and start making smoke. Three racks of fish as you can see there. And get out of there. You're going to get smoked, dude. Um, let me put this front door on here and uh, I'll be back at you in a few hours with some beautifully smoked trout. Here we go. Okay, so there it is with the uh, front door back on. Awesome. We'll be getting smoke out of here in a few minutes. So there you have it guys. Um, Combine Kevin Brock's brine with some good fish and the Little Chief smoker and it's hard to mess things up. I gotta run, I gotta go check my uh, gotta go check my laundry, and then I gotta get in on a Zoom conference. But uh, let me take a quick peek at my watch here. It is 1041. So we'll we'll check this out at about one o'clock to see if it's done, and I'll probably change that pan of uh, smoke chips one more time. I'll be right back with you guys. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's about 20 minutes after I put the uh, fish in there. I don't know how well you can see that on video, but I got some nice rich smoke coming out of there so everything is uh is going well here i'm going to spin this camera around i'm just holding my hand so uh it's not going to be the best quality but let me whip this around okay so so we got smoke coming out of the smoker everything's going well now eventually that smoke's going to stop so like i said about two hours in i'm going to pull that little pan out of there it looks like a little frying pan i'm going to toss that um, wet it down so I don't start a forest fire. That's always good. And then I'll put a fresh pan of wood chips in there. Typically, I do two pans with trout like that. One of the shortcomings of the Little Chief, and, you know, again, it's it's very entry level. It does not have a temperature gauge. So I put the thicker fish in the bottom. And on a day like today, it's November, but it's still pretty hot out here, the smoker is uh, setting in the sun, which will obviously raise the temperature. So with that in mind, I'm going to check the fish the first time at the three hour mark because it might be way hotter in there than it would be on a day when say, you know, it's 60 degrees, something like that. So, you know, you just kind of, kind of deal with these variables. Um, if you really get into smoking, you know, get one of the Cabela's or, um, or Bass Pro units that have adjustable heat and they have a temperature gauge and stuff like that. But for me, I'm still perfecting my technique and my stuff comes out pretty darn good. Um, but I'm still playing with it. But one of these days, I'm gonna spring for a big giant unit. I wanna walk you over here and show you one last thing here. I'm just gonna, again, whip the camera around, not the best quality, but uh, right here. I got a little storage container here. So right here, I've got this big plastic uh, tote, and I need to, uh, I actually need to replenish my supply, but that's where I keep my wood chips. I keep my wood chips in the garage um, with the smoker and all my bowls and racks and stuff like that. So that's where I keep my chips. If you're going to do a lot of smoking, it requires a pretty good supply of, uh, of chips. And uh, I just actually get this stuff. You can get it on Amazon. I get stuff at the local hardware store, believe it or not. Here in Forest Hill, um, the hardware store here, they have a pretty extensive uh, supply of, uh, of chips and other smoking stuff, which is kind of kind of surprising, but, you know, whatever. Um, the other thing I really want to do with my smoker is I want to try doing something other than, um, other than uh, 
fishing. I want to try doing some poultry and stuff like that. I've played with some turkey meat before, uh, wild turkey meat. So anyway, I've rambled long enough. Lucy and I are actually going to go for a midday walk here. She needs to get out and, uh, and get some air and so do I. So I'm going to leave that when I get back. It'll be time for another pan of uh, wood chips and uh, I look forward to showing you some, some nicely smoked fish here in a few hours. Anyhow, Kel Kellogg here. I'll catch you soon. Thanks guys. Bye. Oh boy, it's been one of those days. Um, seems like I'm doing a million different things. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, anyhow, the fish is done. Um, I'm going to unplug it here. We'll open up the smoker and uh, we'll have a peek inside and then I'll take the racks out. We'll put it on a plate and uh, see how it tastes. So bear with me. Let me unplug this. Oh boy, look at that. Look at that rich color. Uh, down there you can see the can see the pan of charcoal now I filled that twice um, I filled it once I let it go about two hours and then I filled it again and uh, there's still some usable charcoal in there or some chips rather um, but look at that beautiful fish right there looks great let me pull these racks out of here um, I'm pretty excited so let me grab these out of here put the put the fish on a plate and uh, we'll see what we got well there it is looks absolutely beautiful and if you're wondering what this towel is um, my stove is missing right now so I've got a got a sheet of plywood there just kind of kind of filling up the hole I got a new stove coming in we swapped out our electric range for a gas one but uh, it isn't here yet so anyway there is the trout it looks fabulous Let's just take a piece of this and kind of break it open here see that texture there that is going to be tasty let me peel some off here and just Give it a try. All right, I'm back. So here it is, here's the finished product. Um, you want it to look a little oily, you want a little sheen to it, but you want it to peel right off the skin and you want to be able to kind of snap it off. So let's see how it tastes. It tastes great. Kevin's brine is the secret. You know, anybody can put fish in the smoker. The keys, the keys to doing this right are using a good brine that you trust. I trust Kevin's following the instructions on the brine don't overdo it with the salt and that step where I dried it in front of the fan is absolutely critical you want that fish going into the smoker as dry as possible and smoke time on that today I underestimated what it was going to take I thought in the sun out there it's going to be three three and a half hours I actually let it go for five hours and uh, the results are absolutely phenomenal so you know smoking fish smoking it well it's not that complicated it's a little bit of an art it's a little bit of a science and it's something you got to play with and it's a little bit of a hobby too you know it, it does take time it takes time um you got to have the chips you got to have some big bowls some stuff like that but uh, it is a labor of love i love smoking fish i give a lot of it away I give it to my dad my mom other folks around town here it's yummy and uh you know, as you can tell from my videos, I always have a supply of trout. So, you know, keeping people in, in smoked fish is no problem. I do have to pick up some more chips. I'm, I'm running kind of low down there. But uh, I'm going to sit down and have some of this fish. And uh, then I'm going to go clean up the smoker and put that away. So, I hope this helps you. I hope it inspires you if you've never smoked fish before to get started. You could probably get into it for, I think my smoker is about 99 bucks, something like that. Um, chips, the other stuff. I would say for $150, you would be ready to rock and roll and you'll have enough stuff to do several batches. If you're looking for Kevin's fish brine, go to fishkevinbrock.com. It is well worth the price. Um, I used half a bag on that batch and it was plenty. If, you, if you've got like a big salmon or something, you're probably going to use more than half a bag. I like to put it on pretty thick and then I rinse it off. I probably put it on too thick but uh, I'd rather have more than less. So anyway, those are the keys. It's not super hard. Um, invest some time, get some of Kevin's brine, get a little chief and get started. And uh, you're going to have a lot of fun and you're going to have a lot of good snacks. So I'm Cal Kellogg. I'm signing off. If you're looking for fishing gear so you can get some trout to smoke, you know where to go. Fishhuntshoot.com. Thanks a lot, guys. I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. Thanks for all the support. And uh, I keep looking at that fish. I want another piece. So I'm out of here. I'll catch you later. I'm Kel Kellogg. You have a great day.